Hi everybody, my name is Randy and I am your host of the Conquest 199 RK. Let's walk around and get you familiar with it so you can enjoy your stay. This video will be created for those who select the pre-setup at the campground. So the, the uh, camper will be completely level, uh, front to back, left to right for you. All the stabilizers will be adjusted. The uh, arm bar will be out as well as your stairs. When you arrive, the gas will be off. We have a meter on here, so all you're gonna do is turn it to open as you see here so that you get gas. The reason you need gas inside the camper is for your water heater, your stove, as well as the actual heater if it, you get a chilly night. You will receive a set of keys. The purple key will unlock both of these. The bottom lock is the deadbolt. The top lock is just for the regular handle. I suggest when you leave for the day or do errands or go on adventures, you lock both of these locks. The camper is gonna have outdoor speakers, which I'll show you how to use the uh, Bluetooth radio inside. You're gonna have a power awning. I'm gonna show you how to use that as well. And also a little porch light for you. There's also two plugs right here if you want to plug an outdoor fan, anything else outside. All right, welcome to the interior of the 199 rear kitchen. Our camper is completely wiped down, clean, mopped, vacuumed, uh, you know, for all sanitizing purposes. We just finished uh, getting back, and so I wanted to do a walkthrough real quick. Uh, the mattress does have a dust mite and... Uh, barrier on it and we also let everybody know to bring their own linens if you need linens just let me know in the messaging and i can get you set up let's look at the control panel when we walk in starting from right to left you're going to have exterior light interior lights which is going to light up your main cabin all the way from the center uh, to the door and you also have one touch puck lights throughout the whole camper so those are touch the ones over the bed are touch all you do is just touch the center they shut off turn on also the lights that you see underneath the kitchen are touch lights as well one touch one touch now we'll go back to the control panel and finish that one up for you you do have a power awning what I want you to do when you extend the awning is on the left hand side when we turn around and look out the door we're going to keep the door at a 90 degree angle if you open it more than 90 degree angle it will hit the uh, left strut for the awning and you want to extend it out until you see a yellow line on the left hand part of the awning I'll show some pictures here now of it all right we have the button to press to extend and remember to keep this door at 90 degrees. If you open it more than 90 degrees, you are going to hit the strut. If you close it 90 degrees, you're not going to see the yellow stripe to tell you when to stop. So what you're going to do is let it extend out. And when you see the yellow stripe right there, that's where you're going to bring it. Actually bring it in a little bit more, about right there. Okay, might have to bring it in a little bit to let it relax, but please uh, make sure you close this when you leave. If there's a storm coming, um, this will rip off and I will have to charge you to replace it. To bring in, you just hit the awning retract button and it'll come in. I'll speed this up for you to make it go a little quicker. And once it's done retracting, you'll hear it click and bang against the camper. Then let go. You have your buttons for your battery, your fresh water tank, your black water tank, and you have two gray tanks. When you'll get your camper, the black tank will be closed. Keep it closed during your entire stay unless it's about to be full. And then you can empty it and then follow the instructions to fill it back up with five gallons of fresh water and a tablet. If not, don't open the black tank until I pick it up because we don't want a poop pyramid. If you don't know what a poop pyramid is in the camping world, YouTube it. <laughs> 
This is your water pump. You're at the campground, you won't be needing this because you'll be hooked up to uh, water. I do recommend when you leave the camper by itself, shut the water off to the camper, shut the gas off to the camper, and you'll have a gas and electric water heater. Once the gas is heated up, that's when we first set up the camper. You can switch it over to electric and that'll keep the water hot. Caution, the water is very hot that it comes out of the spigot, so adjust accordingly, especially if you do have children uh, in the camper. You're gonna have a closet over here with some hangers in it so you can hang some clothes. You're also going to have 110 outlets as well as USB on this side with a nice little shelf. Over here, you're gonna have 110 outlets as well as USB. The uh, blinds are night blinds. All you do is reach up, pull them down. Most everyone who sleeps, sleeps with their head this way. Just be gentle on the blinds, uh, not to destroy them. Thank you. Uh, here is also your blind here. All the windows have a exit. The way to use that in case of an emergency or fire, you pull up, go 90 degrees, push out all the way, pull the red tab to rip out the screen, and then you can jump out the window. This window as well is emergency exit, same thing. Pull the screen out, lift, push all the way out, and you can jump out. On the back windows, you do not have any escape routes. On your door, you have your regular handle. And then at night, there is a night deadbolt. You do that and no one can get in or out. This is for your screen door latch. And you can see this as well. Here is your fire extinguisher. You have your carbon monoxide as well as smoke alarm here. And down here you have an LP leak detector and your GFCI for the entire camper. So if any water uh, gets into an electronic appliance, it will kick this. Uh, for some reason you're losing power in the camper, if you lost power, check this first, followed by going outside and check the breaker at the campground. This is gonna be your inverter. This is also gonna have, just like your house, all of your circuit breakers. So if you trip something, check that out. These fuses over here are if you're only boondocking and under 12 volt. So if you're docked already and I have you set up at a campground, you don't need to worry about these. Always, you have my number. If you have any problems or issues, just give me a text. The refrigerator runs on 12 volt, has a regular freezer. So you can put all your meats and things in there. And you have an LED lit refrigerator with uh, fruit and vegetable trays as well as trays on the door you have storage here this is a little mosquito detector thing that I have feel free to use it um, but there's also an electric heater that you can use if you don't want to use the gas heater some storage up here storage here if you want to put some things up in here this is where also I'll put some extra blankets if you need This is gonna be your Bluetooth. Now, zone one is outside. So be careful when you turn your volume up and down. If you have both zone one and zone two clicked, you're gonna turn your speakers up outside and uh, bother your neighbors. But you have HDMI input, USB. There is no television in this camper. Um, we don't like televisions, that's why you're camping. No video games, no uh, I Love Lucy, no Jerry Springer show, and no Netflix. So uh, just music here. You have two speakers on the roof here and here. And then as we're going on the roof, this is your air conditioning. You have one, two, three, four vents to go outside. Adjust your temperature. If you want to get it really cold in here, this is the uh, main room dump and the cold air will come right out of here. This is your fan speed uh, for your AC. This is also fan speed if you just want fan. And for chilly mornings, there is an optional heat uh, installed on my unit that you can kick on and turn on the heat. A little bit of heat. It doesn't get that real hot. It's just a little, little take the chill out of the air. And then uh, this is your temperature gauge right here. I do have a digital thermostat for the heater, the heater only. And this will actually tell you what the temperature inside the camper is. If you do use the heat, 
the gas heater is right there and it's plenty of air to blow all the way to the front but you can turn that on by clicking here and setting your temperature on this side it'll tell you what the temperature is see how that kicks on let's move to the kitchen but I'll show you how to uh, make this a bed as well as this a bed. If you need extra storage underneath the mattress here, you can lift this up and there's storage in there. I have some uh, lounge chairs in there if you need them. We do offer a fire pit, propane fire pit, as well as a Blackstone. There is storage under here. You can lift this up. There's storage under there. And then to make this in a bed, you saw me lift up and just release. And there's a bed there for you. And then to put it back exactly the same way, just lift up, push back, and then that turns into a couch. Go ahead and close this window. And you can open these windows too to just let air in and out, you know, enjoy the outdoors. Close that. All right, kitchen. We're gonna have storage down here for you. We have a coffee maker that'll be setting up right here for you. Great coffee, coffee maker, but don't put water in it the night before because it does trickle leak. Um, but it's the thermos one that once it's uh, done, you have it, it'll keep it fresh for 120 minutes. Please no food down the drains. There's no garbage disposal, no septic tank or anything like that. So if you put food in here, it goes into the gray tank and then it smells for future renters. If you need to uh, clean food, please put it in the garbage, scrape your plates. And uh, if you really, really need to get food off of a plate, you can actually scrape it into the toilet. That'll go into the black tank. I recommend that in camping. If you have food particles, put it in the toilet down in the black tank because it's going to already smell. Uh, you do have outlets here as well. So uh, we have a toaster oven that comes. So you get a toaster oven. Just be careful, it gets hot around the sides. You have a griddle below that that you can sit on top of the burners. I'll show you that here in a second. So this is a two-sided griddle. One side is like if you're doing burgers or something, you can flip it over and it's a flat griddle uh, for pancakes. Up in these two cabinets is pretty much everything you need. Uh, we have some olive oil up here, plenty of plastic forks and knives. You have uh, plates, spoons, silverware, everything in there. You can take this out, set it on the counter. We have some uh, plates, pots, pans, some glasses, uh, cutting board. We'll have a knife in there for you as well. Uh, we provide one roll of paper towels, hand soap, dish soap, a sponge, some coffee. Um, those are called coffee cups. Uh, down here, this will be where the... Um, coffee pot will be but i'll set that up on the roof for you or on the counter some more storage if you do go to a brewery i have a little six pack thing there that you can uh, put some uh, beer into that there are some uh, anti-slip placemats that you can put on the table if you'd like in these drawers foil plastic wrap some plastic bags up here is your coffee filters, some matches if you're going to do a fire outside. Uh, you do have to light the um, stove countertop with a lighter that's in here with you, for you. I'll show you how to do that real quick. It's a little difficult with a camera. That's how you light that. And then that is how you adjust the heat. So that's high low to shut it off you just push and turn and then to get it to go on the back burner you push down turn it to high light it just like that adjust it and then push and then shut off okay and again some people don't like the gas running or they don't like the gas turned on if you don't like the gas um, just shut it off at the propane tank at the front um, and then the other thing like I said, you do have an LP detector. Um, if that goes off, this is what it sounds like. So that'll go off as well as the smoke detector. Sorry dogs, if you're watching this video. And that's your smoke detector, okay? If you are cooking, you have a vent up here. You can hand crank that, let in the sun, let in the air. And then we'll go into the, oh, here's the microwave. So microwave, everybody knows how to use a microwave. So it's got the turner in there, okay? 
If you're just doing spaghetti or something, please cover it up so we don't have a bunch of splatters. Let's see, I think that's it. You also have uh, it's two USBs over here, so you can uh, check this out, you know, and sit here. But look at that window. Is that the best or what? So we picked this camper because we just love the layout because you can sleep. Somebody can sleep in. The other person can make their coffee, chill out here, chill here, and look outside. Plenty of counter space. And we'll open up the door to go into the bathroom. You're going to have a sun window. That's not what it's called, <laughs> but that's that's that. Uh, you have your shower, uh, your two knobs here. Adjust the water, feel it with your hand. When you're ready to shower, pull up on the nozzle. When you come up here, there is an on and off. So if you want to save water, you can do that. Jump around, you have this uh, regular sink. Storage down here. These are the drop-ins that I speak of. You have some toilet paper. Only use this toilet paper, please. Your light switch for the bathroom is here. Turn that on, it turns these lights on. Skylight, that's what it is, you have a skylight. And then in here you have the old fart fan. If you are cooking, I would suggest turn that on. And then what it'll do is it'll bring air from here in, grab any smoke that's coming off of your stove, out this little guy here, okay? Hello, this is some storage here. Also, this is linked into the GFI, a GFCI, so if you get water in it, it'll pop it. Soap, you'll have some garbage cans, one's for the bathroom, one is for the uh, main living area, and what we do is we usually set it right here. A little quick walkthrough. The way to set this bed up is uh, you'll take the legs out of the bottom and the top, just lay them on the ground. This will lay down into these these ledges here, and then you'll just take these guys, lay them out flat, and that'll be your bed. You've seen this in the pictures. Um, there's also storage underneath these units if you wanna put some stuff in it. All right, that's the walkthrough through the Conquest 199 rear kitchen camper that you've rented. If you have any concerns, questions, comments, or anything, please text me. Uh, I'll be available during your stay and I'll help you out as much as I can. Also on the Bluetooth over here, it's BT105 and I'll put a little note in there for you as well. Thanks for renting from us. Uh, leave a review and let us know how you went. Um, let me know what time pickup is. I'll be there, pick it up, inspect it. Uh, once everything is good and fine, um, I'll clear it through the rental agency and get your deposit back. Thanks for renting from us. Enjoy your stay, and as always, enjoy the adventures.